Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to remove the background with your PlayStation 5 camera when you don't have a green screen and you can still get that cutout effect. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So I love using a green screen with my PlayStation 5 live streams. How Ever, I don't always like having it set up because it can take up a lot of room and sometimes the light level isn't perfect. So how can I still get this effect without actually having a green screen or a blue screen? Let's go over to my PlayStation 5 right now and I will show you. So on the home screen of the PlayStation, let's go up to the top and then go over to settings and then scroll down to captures and broadcasts and select this option, then go down to broadcasts and then go over to camera and select it. Now my camera is turned on and I already have this effect on. If you go down to clip mask right here, normal will look like this. This is just my setup right now. I do have my green screen in the background, my blue screen right here. I just have it set to the side because I was using it early. Now, if I go down to this option called auto key right here, as you can see, it will remove the background without a green screen. Now it kind of has like a little delay effect whenever you move around. And that's how it was on the PlayStation 4 and on the PlayStation 5, I'm assuming it's gonna be like this for the entirety of the console. It's not gonna get upgraded at all. So that's what we're gonna be dealing with. So you do have some options to adjust this like depth. So if I do the depth all the way to the right, it's not gonna cut out too much. Now, if I go ahead and go to the left, it will cut out more and more as I go down. So I'll keep it at about 20% right there. Sometimes if you go all the way to the left, it like cuts into your head a little bit and I don't like that look. I'd rather still have it display my entire body. I just try not to move as much so you don't get that weird delay effect. Then you go to edges. Let's go up and down with edges. And this is where it cuts into my head a lot more but you get a much more pronounced cutout effect. If I move edges all the way to the right, this is what it looks like. Let's move it to the left. Make sure you go over to refocus on your face as well. Just get a proper focus on the camera so you display correctly and the best. So this is what it looks like. Let's go to a quick live stream and just see how it looks. Let's open up Share Factory and then go to broadcast and do a live stream real quick. So my privacy is set to private there and go to live stream. So this is what the cutout looks like. I can move it around the screen here when I'm live streaming. So I tend to keep it in the bottom right. And actually this doesn't look too bad the way I have it set up. You can see the sun is coming out just a little bit. It's lighting up my entire face on my green screen. That would probably mess it up a little bit. But if I stay in one position, and I don't move around a lot. I mean the cutout right here, the auto key, isn't all that bad as you can see it still will display what's in my background if i move my arms around but this is a quick and effective way to cut out the background if you don't have a green screen so if this video did indeed help you out go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help tips related to the playstation 5 coming up next on your six studios